Real estate takes time. Anything in life worth having takes sacrifice, work, and effort over a long, sustained period of time. Delayed gratification is the key to success in real estate. Most successful investors hold an unpopular opinion. Life is long. To live up to our full potential, every human needs to do some things that won't pay off for 5, 10, 20, or even 100 years. If you zoom out to 1,000 feet, every single day, I feel lucky that my great-great-grandfather, who I never had a chance to meet, got on a boat with his wife and came over here to the States. They had no money, no jobs lined up, and it was surely scary as hell. Then my great-grandfather proceeded to work insanely hard for basically his entire life. Not so that he could have a better life, but so that his kids and their kids could have a better life. I have the opportunity, the values, and the ability to do what I do today because of his sacrifice. You hear many folks talk about the, you only live once, YOLO. You hear him talk about this mentality and how instant gratification is the key to happiness. They want it all, they want it all right now. In my opinion, largely those folks are not successful. They're jumping from thing to thing, from exciting way to make money to exciting way to make money, and they're not willing to play the long game. Real estate takes time. Anything in life worth having takes sacrifice, work, and effort over a long, sustained period of time. Delayed gratification is the key to success in real estate. If you have a short-term money-maximizing mindset, you'll end up making decisions that aren't in your best interest in the long term. You'll chase fees. You'll sell great assets. You'll move around from one thing to the other, and there will always be greener grass on the other side that you're chasing. True entrepreneurs and real estate investors know that it's a long game. They know that things take a really long time, and they're willing to make decisions now and do work now that might not pay them money for three, five, ten years. Maybe they don't even know how long it'll take. And then when you talk about money, you also have to talk about the fact that true entrepreneurs and real estate investors know that value does not always equal money. There's a difference between how valuable something is and how much money something is worth. A successful real estate investor's challenge and essential work is understanding where the value lies. They understand where the value lies, even if it isn't apparent in the form of dollars. What is the potential? What could be the future worth? How and what steps do I need to take to realize that future potential? What do I need to do? It's easy to ignore value because we can't see it. We can't touch it and we can't count it. It's not clear. There's a lot of questions standing in between us and what that value is. It isn't liquid right now and it definitely can't be exchanged for money right now. And that's why there's so much opportunity for us. Because we know the price you pay for something doesn't reflect what it's worth. We know that how much we pay for a piece of real estate doesn't really matter if we see the potential and we know how to create value and know how to make that value worth money. Our job is to turn value into money. With time and a little bit of effort, things can change in a major way and we can turn that value into money. And that is our job as entrepreneurs. We know what others don't because we can see value where others see pain and we know how to turn that value into money over time with our blood, sweat, and our tears. Big news, guys. I created a free PDF that details my method on how I analyze a self-storage facility and figure out what it's worth. Give me a pen, the back of a napkin, and a couple metrics, and I can figure out about what the property is going to be worth to me. If you want to download this PDF, click in uh, the show notes, the first link, and you can give me your email address and you get a uh, email right away with four page PDF that outlines exactly how I think about underwriting or giving my initial analysis on a self storage facility. Again, click the link in the show notes and you're going to get that document for free. This episode of the Nick Huber show is brought to you by RE Cosseg. If you want to maximize your bonus depreciation and minimize your tax liability, make sure to do a cost segregation study on real estate you've recently acquired. RE CostSeg offers the lowest priced fully engineered studies in the business 
and you get a virtual site visit with a quick turnaround. They did 30 plus cost seg studies for me over the past year, including a short term rental along with my self storage facilities. And I'm also an investor in the business along with my good friend and CPA Mitchell Baldridge, who you all know. To learn more about how bonus depreciation works, listen to episode 75 of the Nick Huber Show or visit recostseg.com to go ahead and get a free proposal that outlines the cost of the study and your potential savings. Thanks again, recostseg.com.